to the Jack Sparrow channel. I am Jack, and I am back. How am I back? Well, uh, my mic was broke, but um, I rectified that. So, what are we talking about today? We are talking about what everybody's talking about. Captain Marvel. Rotten Tomatoes. The scandal of the ages. What did they do this time? What did they do this time? Oh, what's this? Oh my goodness. There used to be a thing here. Um, and that th thing there used to have this thing that um, showed you the interest level of people. Um, what did they do? Let's, let's talk about this. Let's get into this, shall we? Do you remember this and what this used to look like? See this? This is what that box used to look like where it said, had a tomato meter not available. It also said, add your rating for not interested and want to see. Not interested and want to see. Want to see percentage was 33% at the time that I had originally made this video before my microphone broke several days ago. Now, what does not interested mean and what does want to see mean? Well, it's very simple. This is not a review score. This is a I would like to see the movie. Ding! I do not want to see the movie. <clears throat> That's all it means. Does not mean I have reviewed this movie. Now, what have they done? What have they done? Well, they've removed it. It's not there anymore. Hmm. That's troubling. That's disturbing. Now, let's go up here and see what they did. Click. So what they did is they came out with this thing last night in the middle of the night from the RT staff. And it says, hello, we're making some changes. And it said, today we are excited to start a product update blog, which allows to keep you informed of changes and updates on Rotten Tomatoes. Over the past 18 months, coincidentally since The Last Jedi came out, we've made a number of updates at Rotten Tomatoes, all in an effort to streamline the site and provide users with a more enriched experience. Blah, 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 wah, 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 wah. And then you get down here, it says, As of February 25th, last night, we will no longer show the want-to-see percentage score for a movie during its pre-release period. Why, you might ask? We found that the want to see percentage score is oftentimes confused with the audience score percentage number. By only complete idiots, I might add, only morons would get that wrong. A normal person with half a working brainstem would understand that the audio score, audience score, is completely different from the want to see score. Want to see means, hey, I would like to see this, or no, I would not like to see this. <clears throat> the audience score percentage for those who haven't been following is the percentage of all users who haven't rated the movie or TV show positively. That is, give it a star rating of 3.5 or higher, and it's only shown once the movie or TV show is released. Which means there's no way for an idiot to actually confuse that. Oh wait, it is possible for idiots to confuse. Okay. What you will now see at the top of a movie or TV page once the men release is this. Da, 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 da. Hmm. What else are we doing? We are disabling the comment function prior to a movie's release date. Unfortunately, we have been seeing an uptick in non-constructive input. Such as, but not limited to, this movie looks boring. I don't like Brie Larson's sexist and racist comments and therefore don't feel like I need to give her my money etc 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 they also apparently don't like the amount of uh, complete wash of um, shillery that was unleashed upon the site and I will share that momentarily prior to it going away of course um, let's let's continue reading on Nah, sometimes bordering on trolling which we believe is a disservice to our general leadership Readership, we have decided that turning off this feature right now is the best course of action. We have decided that turning off this feature for now. Let that sink in for a bit. Think about that. Let's continue on. 
Don't worry though, fans will start to ha- will still get to have their say. And how are you supposed to do that? Once a movie is released, audiences can leave a user rating and comment as they always have. Blah, 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 blah. Fart, fart, smelly fart. Okay, so let's go back to this. We have decided that turning off this feature for now. For now. What do you think that means? Hmm? For now. It means that, oh, this is conveniently turned off for now. Only a couple weeks until, you know, Captain Marvel comes out. Nothing to see here. But maybe it'll come back on afterwards. Or at some point down the future when it's convenient for us. After we, our arm has been done, you know, once you have Scott Farkas, you know, making you say uncle, right? Okay, let's go on down here. <clears throat> what do you think? 6,479 responses. Only 407 upvotes. Only 294 funnies. Only 80, 92 loves. Only 104 surprised. And 5,402 angry and 540 sad. And look, comments have finally been enabled. And I'll show you what I mean. Comments were not enabled for quite some time after putting this all almost all day. But now you have comments, and most of them aren't too thrilled. For example, Rotten Tomatoes is no longer impartial then, losing most of its value as a review aggregator while censoring the reader's opinion doesn't seem like a good editorial choice to me. Ding, ding, ding. Um, CM says it's probably defined as hate speech to not love Captain Marvel, which is pretty much um, everything that the SJWs have been saying. If you don't like Captain Marvel for any reason whatsoever, any reason whatsoever, and you just happen to be a white male, then you are sexist. And if you are a female, or even a African-American female, you are ignored completely. It's only about the white males. Douglas says, RT was the last honest place to check out movies and see what the buzz was around said movies. This just shows that they have sold out and are no better than the rest. Ding, agreed. And uh, there is a slew of comments. This is BS. Yes, that's one of the options they removed. Funny thing, it was a poll if you wanted to see a movie or not. It was in no way a review. Thank you, Scott White, for um, pointing out the obvious. The want to see section is not a review section. Again, an obvious answer. <laughs> is, <laughs> and now you can only want to see a movie, but you can't, you, you can't don't want to see. That's manipulation in my book. Absolutely. And there are many many more 600 of these 600 of these wow and of course mainstream media is getting in all involved in this and getting their panties in a twist of course we have oh we have oh shush no no thank you oh we have huff the huff huffington post saying that after this Disturbing Captain Marvel trolling. Ron Tomatoes makes drastic changes. It just got a little harder for trolls to attack Captain Marvel and Star Wars. Uh, or you mean share their opinion because that's dangerous and that's subversive and we can't, we can't have that. We cannot have that. Oh my goodness. It looks like Brie Larson's Captain Marvel isn't going to have to fight trolls alone. No, because now it gets a free pass and it's not trolling, it's sharing an opinion. But sharing an opinion that goes against the narrative and the agenda is trolling in the SJW mind. This is a, a link. I'll be actually leaving this in a link. I want you to read it for yourselves because, you know, I'm not going to spend all day reading this. Let's give you an idea. Here's another one. This one is from Wired. Rotten Tomatoes revamp could save Captain Marvel. Yeah, you don't say. Um taking away people's opinion to be able to say hey this might not be a very good movie and uh, here's why it may save Captain Marvel at the box office because now people are just going to see all the want to sees and not the don't want to sees huh interesting the flood of trolling on Rotten Tomatoes started about a month ago weeks before the release of Captain Marvel commenters on the site were already claiming the movie was garbage and that they hadn't no intentions of seeing it. 
Terrible movie. Hate it already. He wrote one. Not in Verit's sitting and singing under SJW. Social justice warrior. Propaganda film. Claim daughter. And finally, this movie is destined to flop. This one is the only one I disagree with because it's a, you know, MCU movie. Um, and then this goes through how, you know, obviously they won't have to stand alone and the mean, hateful, bigoted men. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, no, thank you. Next we have... Not now. Piss off. Okay. Inverse. Rotten Tomatoes has finally removed a tool trolls have been abusing for years. Yes. A tool saying, I don't really think I want to see this movie. Rotten Tomatoes ditched its want to see metric as part of sweeping changes meant to counter bad faith users. Oh my god. God, it's bad faith just to say you don't like something. It's bad faith to say you just don't want to see something. Even if you have a good reason, it's bad faith to share your opinion. These freaking social justice warriors run their freaking mouths all the dang time. Loudly. But that's not bad faith. No, no, that's the right. That's the right to have their opinion. We're just not allowed to have ours. Hmm? And then, of course, you know, you have all these different ones here. Tried to ruin Captain Marvel, so Rotten Tomatoes disabled it. <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes limits audience reviews after trolling. It's all about trolling. Trolls drop red tomatoes. Trolls. 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 It's all about... This is all garbage. It's all garbage. Let me Let me show you something. All right, let's take a trip into the Wayback Machine back on weekend when I was trying to do this. <clears throat> if you notice, there are a lot, and this is when I was sitting at 32%, 33%. There was a lot of shillery going on. Want to see it? Obviously, haven't seen it, but want, can't wait for this. Very excited. Want to see it? Got my tickets. Want to see it? Can't wait to see it. Want to see it? It's going to be awesome. Want to see it? I've got to see it. Excited. I want to see it. Already have tickets. From these blank individuals. It's crazy. Oh, well, they're not blank, but, you know, there's people there. Look at this. Just look, look at this. Let's go 30 seconds in the future here. This is, want to see it? It's going to be bad A. We can't wait. Want to see it? Looks like the future Marvel will, will up the game. Want to see it? Can't wait to see the incredible movie. Female superheroes should be idolized as much as their male counterparts. Want to see it? Very much looking forward to it. Want to see it? Want to see it? Want to see it? Look at all these ones. It's the whole front page except for these two guys and these four people right here are want to see it. Let's continue, shall we? Oh, that's the end of that. This is about three pages back and you got things like this you got all these want to see it's not interested at all this is not sexist in the slightest this is wonder woman was great when is black widow coming out this is not sexist in the slightest looking like it's gonna suck not interested so far looking like it's gonna suck didn't say because a whammon was in it just said it looks like it this person who wants to see it says, I can't wait to see this movie to be able to give my own opinion. It's stupid to judge a movie for what an actress says in her free time. <laughs> Instead of waiting for their finished work, it wasn't her free time. She made these comments on her press tour. So she made a lot of these comments during her press tour. That's being paid to promote the movie. So that was during... Uh, Disney's free time paying her to do this <laughs> um, I expect an entertaining plot and amazing battle scenes I already want to know why everyone loves Goose the Cat I know why I know why because Goose the Cat can apparently act um, Goose the Cat has some facial features that are interesting to look at and exciting Brie Larson does not Brie Larson has the interest level of the Borg or a very boring person like you remember the guy that he's like Bueller Bueller that's about how interesting she is maybe less so we also have 
This one from the same day. A little farther down. So hyped to see it. Marvel always brings the best. I trust that. Interest to see Brie Larson such a different role. Scott J. Reading through some of the previous comments posted about this unreleased film. I seriously cannot believe that I am from the same species as the posters. Because yes! Sharing your opinion and saying I don't want to see this movie because it looks like crap. Is definitely the most hateful thing ever. You might as well be a horrible inhuman monster. A demon. Absolutely embarrassing and cringe inducing. Much like this comment. On a brighter note, I'm really looking forward to its release. I'm sure you are. And I'm sure you're going to be toasting your buddies with a warm glass of soy as you watch this. Um, got my ticket. So excited for this. And that's saying something because I've seen, I've been pretty tired of MCU movies. Pualo. I'm so excited to watch the introduction of Captain Marvel. I'm so excited to see this movie. I'm a white male. SJWs don't want money. Oh, it's sexist. Oh, my God. It's sexist. So, as you can see, there's... As you can see, this movie is a dumpster fire. And there's a lot of speculation about things. Like, how and why Rotten Tomatoes did what they did. Now, there's two two things that I... Three things I see. Rotten Tomatoes bent the knee to the media pressure. They got a lot of pressure from the very vocal so social justice warriors. The other option is that because Rotten Tomatoes is owned by Fandango, which is owned by Comcast, which is essentially a competitor to Disney. However, having said that, um, the big five now, not six, but big five, are very willing to cooperate when needed. For example, Sony was willing to let Disney use Spider-Man. That's cooperation from one big to another big. What is to say that they did not hand over a bunch of money and said, oh, this is making our movie look bad. You need to do something about this. You need to pull the plug on this so that we don't set, lose a ton of money at, on box office day, on opening day. It could happen. The third one is the most insidious. For several years now, we've seen these movies come out. Ghostbusters 2016, The Last Jedi, this one, uh, one or two others. That is pushing a very specific narrative and agenda. Now, we like to say, get woke, go broke. However, all these, all these, you know, all these studios going woke don't seem to care about going broke because they still push it anyway over and over again. What does that mean? It means that the money doesn't matter to them. It means that the message and the narrative and the agenda that they're forcing down people's throat is what really matters to them. They are pushing this. They want this. They don't care how much money they make or do not make. They do this enough times they figure people will be brainwashed. Maybe. I don't know. Speculation on my part. But it seems that with enough studios doing the same thing it seems that this is a concerted effort anyway what do you think i'm sure there's lots of things people think and i'd love to hear what you have to think and if you like my um if you like my content please think about subscribing maybe giving a like maybe doing both maybe leaving me a comment maybe checking out some of the other stuff i did um and as always, this is Jack Sparrow saying, keep your eyes on the horizon.